Get out, guys. How are you doing this morning? I am at work. Uh, well, I'm always at work, but I'm at my second job. So hope you guys enjoy the ride and let's see what we get today. All right, guys, we're on our first trip here. Come on. Because. Anyway. Sorry, there was like a Ford Edge that was trying to keep up with me or something. Shoot, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what happened there, but it's raining, so I'm sure somebody slipped off something. Anyway, I woke up a little late to be honest. I woke up 16 minutes late, so I could only really do one or two things and then headed straight here, so it's all good. I'm nonetheless, I'm pretty okay. I'm not tired right now um, I am a little hungry because I didn't get a chance to eat but it's all good I mean food is everywhere especially at the airport all right guys we got ourselves the pickup that basic I would the first pickup I've actually ever driven which would be the Ford F-150 my dad had one or he still does I should say but um, yeah this is what he figured it'd be a good idea to teach me how to drive in <clears throat> after driving in the Accord and then my CRV I guess to give me more confidence he gave me an F-150 his F-150 so it's <laughs> it's his like like I said in a previous video it's his fault that's all I gotta say it's his fault why I am the way I am but <laughs> but it's all good Today will be a good day no matter what. Take the day any way you can. Always remember it can be worse. Screw The tire skid back there, but I wasn't even going, what was I going? I was going 60. It is a little wet, so you have to think about that. But so far so good. I was gonna do a suction cup thing, but this is not really the right vehicle to do it because of this huge handle here I'm sure that's gonna obstruct the view anyway so well, I could have it off to an angle but I'm still trying to learn how to use all the little equipment that I have for my GoPro so bear with me guys no nope, car in the ditch what I find with the airport is that I guess it's a combination of people not knowing where they're going and them trying to either catch their flight or what have you. But I noticed that there is a lot of accidents on rainy days like today. I can't remember quite a handful alone. There was one, it was a weird situation. When I passed there, I'll make mention of that. But somebody slid off and actually gone into the the rocky area of um, yeah they they I guess they slid into the sorry, actually no this is what happened so they're on their way to terminal 3 but then they ended up going to terminal 1 hopefully I remember when I go to terminal 3 to show you exactly how it happened so hopefully I remember remind me remind me here is where I was telling you about the guy was coming towards here and he kind of sort of ran off there see that little curve there they were going to T3 they skipped across and hit right here the tires blew out this morning is really chilly however not for me to say that I'm complaining because God is good all of the time all of the time God is good so you got to remember that now talking about the many many crashes or the accidents I should say that happened since working here on a rainy day um, it reminds me of when I had my near-death experience so what happened was it was going on in here before I start. Got you. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, I'm just trying to focus on not hitting anybody. However, anyway, so there's this one time I was, um, it was a Sunday. I guess it was a Sunday. And I was driving on the highway. I was getting, I was coming towards Pinnacle here. And oh man, I just passed it too. Hopefully, I remember. Everything is, I have to show you the exact spot so you can visualize what I'm telling you. But it was a rainy day. It was, I wouldn't say it's pouring, but it was, it was raining. So I was driving in the right lane behind a car. Oh, oh so it's just a snow brush. Anyway, so I was driving in the right lane behind somebody and I'm not really a fan of that, but I decided, you know what, like, let me just chill with the driving a little bit and, and that's that. So I was behind them. They were driving a little too slow, slow for my liking. So I decided to go into the left lane. There was a left lane, obviously. I decided to go into the left lane and just go over when I'm, when I'm able to and come off the highway. So as soon as I got out of that lane, there was a ramp um, going, to go, about to merge into the highway. You know, the same highway I'm going, getting on and getting off of, just Highway 27. So there, was a, there was a little pickup that had like, I guess work stuff in the back. Again, I'll show you when I when I pass there. And it barely missed the car that I was driving behind. And at the time I was driving a Ford Expedition, you know, that huge SUV that they have. So if they barely missed the car in front of me at the time, and if I was still behind it, I don't like to think about it because it didn't happen, so there was nothing nothing was would have gone wrong kind of thing because again I was in the left lane and I even if it were to fly whatever so I've already passed that point and then that's when I saw it behind me and I'm like oh my gosh what the heck kind of thing and the funny thing was I was on my phone I was on the phone with my mom so that would have been great oh my gosh but anyway I also have to show you where that pickup almost like took me out so yeah, I mean, just thinking about it, it was like, wow, I almost, I like, if it barely missed the, the car that I was driving behind or in front of, then it definitely would have hit me, especially how I'm a bigger vehicle, because again, the Ford Expedition, but um, yeah, it was not, but thank God nothing happened. I never really liked driving behind people in the first place, but I decided I wanted to at that time and then good thing that I got the inkling to go in front or not go in front, go in the next lane in that I was behind the person I was driving. So, cause if that was the case, then your girl could have gotten taken out. So again, as always, I thank God for every little thing. Oh, look at those two Durangos. So toasty in here. What we got here? We got some cops. I don't think the weekend cleaning crew is around, so that's probably why it's still at a standstill. And there's no cars inside. Oh, I think they want me for a shuttle.
wanted to take this time since I'm in a GMC Yukon. I wanted to take this time to talk about the first time I went top speed in a in any vehicle really. It was so instantaneous and I didn't even realize until I guess when I had to slow down and I couldn't even take a video or a picture of it just to say hey I did it but first time it was in a um, it was <laughs> it's, it's funny but honestly I can't lie and even if I could there's no point it was in a Toyota Sienna yes it was in the Toyota Sienna top speed and that was 180 kilometers an hour and honestly 180 kilometers an hour isn't really much I mean I guess you're going 80 kilometers over the speed limit however nonetheless for you to actually reach top speed in, a, in any vehicle it's it's an achievement uh, let's see it was I think it was a rainy day too and then I was getting off I was about to get off the highway I was actually on my way back like it was around here when I hit 180 I'm actually what I'm going 110 so that's not too bad but yeah I hit 180 come on I need to be able to see it was around here that I had to slow down a little bit because there was somebody in just like where that where that uh taxi is they were right there and then there was people behind me so then either I sped up to go nowhere because there was a lot of cars in front of where the taxi was or I slow down and fit in between the space that was there so that's what I did I fit between the space and then by the time I slowed down I noticed that the the, um, the needle was I guess twitching and then I'm like why is it twitching then I realized it was going I'm sure I was going more than 180 but that was the limit that it could tell me so when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, did I really just? And then, of course, as soon as I slowed down, it went straight down. And I knew I saw it. I'm not crazy. But it's just a matter of, oh my gosh, I actually hit top speed in it. In a car, period. And then I did it again in the same minivan. And I didn't take video or picture of that because I was too focused on driving. Because honestly, if I can't take pictures or or video I'm not gonna do it because again driving is the number one most important thing I should be doing in the first place and for me to be distracted while I'm going at a certain speed is not only unsafe it's dangerous so there you go that's my story from then there was another time when I was driving my my friend's SI I went top speed in that and all that but even then it was like oh you know <laughs> I already did it twice before it was it wasn't in the best vehicle but nonetheless I can say that I went top speed in a car more than once oh does this need gas yes it does yeah but that's my top speed story I guess I don't know anyway <laughs> yeah yeah Oh man, it's so cold. Ah!